Hello and welcome to Iskaria.com. My name is Dr. Heather Ali. With Iskaria.com, you can enjoy thousands of lectures at home or anywhere. Today, I'm going to talk about the first part of acute gastrointestinal bleeding. Let's go to the outline. First, we'll talk about the anatomic essentials. The differentiating point in anatomic essentials will differentiate a patient's presenting to you with GI bleed if the bleeding is from upper GI tract or lower GI tract. What is the structure that differentiates that if the if patient is having lower GI bleed or upper GI bleed? Next, we'll be focused on immediate management and how to approach a patient with GI bleed. What to do first, what to look for, and what signs and symptoms should be considered in the portion of instability while looking for the patient in GI bleed. When you receive a patient, what signs should be considered to label the patient as shock. And once you label the patient or you diagnose the patient as shock, what to do? What are the steps to be taken? What lab investigations could be sent? and what examination should be done while resuscitating the patient. Next would be determination of the site of bleeding. How would you differentiate if the patient is having a lower GI bleed or upper GI bleed? There are a few differentiating points. For example, Melina, that's more diagnostic of upper GI bleed. As compared to hematochesia, that's fresh blood that's more related to lower GI bleed. What are the points to be or questions should be asked from the patient if the patient is stable? What are the points should be asked in history of patient presenting to you with GI bleed? Which includes several questions would help you to identify the cause or can help you, might help you in making the diagnosis of what is the causing this patient to bleed. Next would be general appearance. How would a patient present to you? And what are the red flags you need to identify in a patient presenting to you with GI bleed? What should be noticed in a patient? What should be done what you know, uh, when you notice any signs or red flags? And what things should be considered in examination while, uh, while, doing, while assessing the patient with GI bleed? What are the things to be considered in physical examination? What are the four important vital signs? And what are, what are their significance? The examination from head to toe. What, exa what uh, important findings you can have in a with, while doing an abdominal examination in a patient with GI bleed? What should be considered in a patient with GI bleed and what should look for in a patient with GI bleed or abdominal examination? Signs of chronic diseases could be readily appreciated in a patient while examining the abdomen of a patient with GI bleed. What should be considered in a patient with rectal, on rectal examination? And what should be considered on skin examination? Next would be diagnostic testing. What lab investigation should be done immediately? And what should be done to that lab investigations, what treatment should be given according to the lab investigations. That should be discussed in the, under the section. Next would be the significance of nasogastric tube, how to insert and what are the significance of nasogastric tube will be discussed under this, under, under this section. Next would be proctoscopy, what are the dimensions and what are the significance and the procedure could be done with proctoscopy. What are the radiological studies could be done in a patient with GI bleed? And what can they demonstrate? So you can watch complete lectures on Ascaria.com. Start your free trial today. Enjoy thousands of lectures, including medical sciences, basic medical sciences, and clinical sciences at Ascaria.com.